That was terrible. That was crap. That was garbage. This place sucks. Overreaction. Mondays. Monday. And Christopher, what do you have over there? All right, let's first up, we'll start. You were just talking about the New Orleans Saints. Their season is toast. No way. With Drew Brees out of least six weeks. Do you have the old Jim Mora drop about the season? Mike Del Tufo, you might have it buried because I think there was a, a year one Rich Eisen show drop and we're about to celebrate our our fifth anniversary. Season's not over. Teddy I mean, Bridgewater is hot. Teddy Bridgewater had a chance last Excuse year in week 17, stunk it up, didn't do much yesterday. All I know is that Teddy Bridgewater has been hired for this situation. Backup quarterbacks need to keep seasons afloat for anywhere periods between four to six weeks. And I think he's ready to do this sort of thing. What? A, what? A, I, it is not over. The whole the whole division is wide open. Not only can they win it, they could win. You know, ten games can actually win this division. Steelers zero and two, circling the drain with Big Ben out for the year. I I don't think that's an overreaction, but we do need to see what Mason Rudolph looks like. I, I'm not ready to say that just yet. He could be terrific. I mean, if, if if the Rich Eisen show or every other split screen hashtag show that's uh, that's also competing against us, if they were on the air in 2001, Patriot season circling the drain, here comes some sixth round pick out of Michigan. What are they going to do with him? I, I mean, I've seen it way too. I've seen it way too many times in the NFL. I think you just compared Mason Rudolph to Tom Brady. Well, because we, well, you don't know is what I'm saying. We're going to rally around Kurt Warner and going to win football games. I mean, how many more times? Okay. I mean, I know those are two. Two of the high-end instances, right? But we cannot sit here and say Mason Rudolph can't or won't. Same thing with Gardner Minshew, by the way. Who, by the way, I, I cannot get enough of this kid. I might pick him up in fantasy because I, I had cannot, Big Ben. Well, I mean, they didn't do very much offensively yesterday in Houston. My unluckiest lock of the week was right there, so, so as, close. As as Doug Marone went for it uh, for a two-point conversion, Leonard and, Fournette was and like again, a foot short. Leonard Fournette left his feet like Leonard. Keep your feet on the ground and yeah. push your way in. Don't leap for it. And they honestly, they they won by inches. My brother was sitting next to me because he came watching games with the NFL Network yesterday. He's like, that's two years in a row. Bill O'Brien was gifted a win in division in Houston by the opposing head coach's yeah. decision to roll the dice. That's twice. Last year with Frank Reich with the Colts. This year with Doug Marone and the Jaguars. And by the way, I... I've got the the second version, the the, re, the rematch of that game in London coming up in week number nine. So I hope for the same entertaining result. Yeah. But Gardner Minshew, will last one. Did you hear Mike Garofalo's report? Oh, how he stretches in the he locker room? He stretches in a, just a jock strap in the locker room. <laughs> Gardner Minshew never changed, man. But I also say that as an individual, need. as an individual who's not in that locker room. And just again, the photograph of him that got that went viral. By the way, it was from earlier yeah, in the year, not this week. Year, yeah. He looks like he's uh, the quarterback of the Jacksonville Shaguars. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> okay, Chris, go for it. NFC West is the best division in the NFL. Three two and O teams. Yeah, man. I I I I went into the year saying it's the NFC South. The NFC North uh, has all four teams uh, at five hundred or above too. There's no losing teams in that division. No one with a losing record in that division. That's the only division you could say that about. Um, the the NFC West, I would absolutely say that is not an overreaction. Absolutely. Let's roll. The Packers are the best team in the NFC North. Uh, I'm not ready to say that yet. We got to see what it looks like over the full the full 16 weeks, but I think Rogers is going to, is already, I mean, he made some dimes on point, but he's still backing up away from the line of scrimmage and just bailing out the play with his incredible talent. I want to see what this offense looks like eventually. And I do like their defense with Mike Pettin. And what did, what did you make of Rogers and Matt nothing. LaFleur getting into it a little nothing, bit? Nothing. I make zero of that. I make 0. 0.0 about that. They're 2-0. and Onward. Let's roll. I make nothing about that. Let's hear from another 2-0 and team, Mike. Hit this sound. Okay. Chance you, you could have ended up in New York. Obviously, the Jets were heavily involved. I am in New York. <laughs> Here, okay, right? yeah. How do you, what kind of point do you think you prove about what kind of player you are to, to, the, New York, to the New York City fans, you know, or the, the New York teams? Um, one New York team. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's Josh Allen. Josh Allen saying the Bills are the best team in New York. Josh Allen 
2 and 0 Buffalo going to lead the Bills to the playoffs. I think he's also uh speaking to the fan base in Western New York which eats up the fact that they're the truly only team that plays their home games in New York because the Jets and the Giants right. play in New Jersey. So this kid from Wyoming is already talking the language of a Western New Yorker and um they are the best team in in the New York area. They are. The Giants, I mean Pat Shermer just Open the door for Daniel Jones about 10 minutes ago, and we'll hit that in yeah, a second. Yeah, we're going to hit that. Um, but, uh, yeah, they're 2-0. and You are what you are in this league, and what they are is a resilient team, and Josh Allen's making plays. And, um, you know, Singletary looked very good. He, he, he came up a little lame towards the end of the game yesterday, and being a rookie running back, you got to stay healthy. That's not an overreaction, and good for Josh Allen. He should puff his chest out a little bit here. He's 2-0. and He's 2-0. and Baker Mayfield is not going to be 2-0. and Sam Darnold's not going to be 2-0 and this year. Josh Rosen is definitely not going to be 2-0. and The only other first-round wow. quarterback from that draft that is most certainly 2-0 and are my Baltimore Ravens. <laughs> nice. Oh, I can take ownership of saying that, sir. I, I... Oh, I'm aging so well for a 50-year-old right now on that front. They've, oh. they've played two great teams, okay. so congratulations. Okay. Uh, let's go to Kansas City here. Patrick Mahomes will top last year's insane numbers. I think he will. I said he's going to be the back-to-back MVP. There is no reason for me to say otherwise. He's the first player in NFL history with 800 or more passing yards and no interceptions through the first two games of a season. Tyreek Hill goes out. Here comes Miko Hardman. Here, Cole, here comes uh, Robinson. Here comes, name it, a whole bunch of people that you didn't think existed on this yeah. team. He's amazing. And everybody in the Jerry Cantrell, Alice in Chains Fantasy League, <laughs> from Jerry Cantrell, who we dominated this week, to uh, NFL Network senior fantasy analyst who looked at us cross-eyed when we drafted Patrick Mahomes in the third or fourth round of so, draft. Like, so how early. do you do that in a fantasy draft for the quarterback? We are laughing. Laughing. Yeah. Totally. And by the way, speaking of moving on to Kansas City, that's what Lamar Jackson and the Ravens do in week three. I, I and mean, we saw that game last year. We sure did. And it was amazing. And I can't wait for, for that one. And it's the Chiefs home opener. Chiefs are 2-0 and with road games, including a division win like they just had. What else you got over there, Chris? Falcons and Bears saved their seasons yesterday. Oh, you betcha they did. Oh, yeah. Because you're looking at the rest of the NFC and... You, if you're the Falcons and the Bears, are looking at a possibility of winning your division, sure, but you need to be well enough to have a, have a tie break in your back pocket for a possible wild card down the line. And to lose like the Falcons would in division, I mean, in conference like that to the Eagles after they've already lost the Vikings, absolutely being 0 2 is dreadful. And the Bears being 0 2 in the NFC North where we've already seen what the Packers look like, what the Vikings look like. Lions with a nice win yesterday, too, over the Chargers. Can't believe Mooch got that lone wolf right on game day morning. That just pisses me off. You all took the Chargers, huh, except for Mooch? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I, I don't think that's an overreaction. I don't think that's an overreaction at all. A couple more. You you kind of hit on this at the start, but there have been too many flags in the first two weeks. Yeah, not an overreaction. Way too much. But I'm, I'm not thinking like this is the end of days for the NFL. We'll see what happens week three, week four, week five. It usually does subside a little bit. But right now, it's just way too many flags in the first two weeks. He may be 0-2, but Kyler Murray is going to be electric in this league. He already He's already proving that. And week one, it was just Murray time, the Murray up offense, as we like to say here. And, uh, and he was genu- generally consistent. And fun to watch yesterday. David Johnson scored two, so the it's helping the whole bunch of uh, of, of players on offense. Fitz is amazing. Kirk, Christian Kirk is making plays. I like it. I mean, the, the results haven't come up with a win just yet, but uh, I know I'll be watching Arizona and Carolina. Carolina's 0-2. Someone's going to come away with their first win, we assume, in that one. And two Heisman Trophy guys going at it. And then Connor Murray against Seattle. At home, three of their next, three of their next, three of the next four are at home. So that's your overreaction right here. 
on The Rich Eisen Show. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.